What's up you guys? Sedona, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know that I just talked to you guys about how I hate my job. <laughs> Um, but more so, specifically, there were aspects of my job that I really didn't like because there are lots of things that I do like about my job. And so my husband kind of brought it into perspective for me that, hey, you know, are there things that you kind of like and more so, you know, like, let's look at the opposite end of this. And so I wanted to touch on that because there are aspects of my job that I really like and obviously I've touched on some of them already, but I'm gonna give you like some of the things that I really, really like about my job. So let's get into that right now. What's up you guys? Okay, so I just wanted to give you full scope. I know that I always talk about like, oh, I love my job, I love being a PA, and all of that is true, um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the realities of my job as a trauma PA and how I see a lot of death. Uh, but when I was talking to my husband about it uh, a little bit later, you know, he was like, yo, babe, great video. But at the same time, I was thinking like, you know, you, you guys do a lot to help people out as well, and so I wanted wanted to touch on that because although I do see a lot of death, I do see a lot of life and that is really like the the best aspect of my job. So we do see people in their worst, absolute worst moments. Um, it's crazy because I was going, like I was in Target the other day and I saw someone and he had like his arm wrapped up, he had his fingers wrapped up because they looked like they had maybe some abrasions, had sutures on them, he had his knee wrapped up and I was like, yo, I could have probably seen you in my hospital as a level two trauma. Um, and that's kind of like cool because you don't always get to see the people that you help outside of the hospital. So yes, we get to see them throughout the spectrum in terms of they come in as a trauma, they're really sick. We get to like help save their lives essentially depending on you know the severity of their injuries. And then we get to see them throughout the course of like making strides with physical therapy and occupational therapy, um, maybe even going to rehab and then coming back to clinic and you see them and it's amazing because you, you saw them like knocking at death's door, right? You know, you saw them and it was like, man, oh my goodness. Like you're, you were not doing the best, but now look at you. And so that really for me allows me to just kind of like appreciate life and God so much more because of how amazing he has made like the human mind and the human brain to be able to really kind of create all of the things that they have created to help save lives. And so that is like a huge aspect of my job that I love. You guys know that. And you know I love my 24 hour shifts. And also I get to do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of procedures. And so um, I got a question asked uh, recently about like what do I do as a trauma PA? And so I will go into more detail about that in like my next video. But we do a lot of procedures as trauma PAs. And procedures meaning like chest tube placement, um, like regular chest tubes and pigtail chest tubes. We do a lot of lines, like central line placements and arterial line placements. Uh, and then obviously a lot of suturing, lots and lots of suturing, um, we do those. And if you want to obviously like kind of cross train with some of the other specialties, you can do that and be able to do like reductions and splintings and things like that, like the ortho team does or bull like the neurosurgery team does. But from a, a trauma standpoint, I do a lot of lacerations and a lot of procedures in terms of chest tube placements and line placements. And it's fun and it's like, it's amazing because you get to see so much and you get to know the anatomy so much. And then on the, on the flip side, we do get to go to the OR. And so that is also an aspect of my job that I like. You know, I like seeing all aspects of life, um, you know, the outside of the human body and inside the human body. And again, all of these just makes me appreciate like, God and life so much more. And so I just wanted to like quickly, quickly, quickly touch on that for you guys because I know like I had spoke and I was like, oh man, like I hate my job and I don't want everybody to think like I don't like like the overall aspect of my job. There were just aspects in terms of the loss of life that really can be 
can weigh hard and heavy on you um, when you see it on a consistent basis. And so, yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you guys get a full scope of the Trauma PA life. I will be talking about like specifically what I do as a Trauma PA in the next video. Um, and then we can go from there. All right, I will tell you that, you know what? Please, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below on some other videos you might want to see. Um, like this video, follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at Get That's University. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!